Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory unto the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem, or Kal Kadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son, and there is no God beside Him. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who are well, who taught us this truth, who has been Pari Abashem Shai, and honors and salutations to the elect. Once again, all praise and glory unto Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. So, you know, I'm untitled this, our mindset in action, okay? This is our mindset in action. Now, when this thing goes down, of course, we don't know exactly um, uh, uh, our lot. We don't know if we're going to get spiritual powers, all right? Or we don't know if we're going to be pilgrims upon the earth. We don't know if we're going to be locked up in concentration camps. We don't know. If we're going to be beheaded, we don't know if we're going to get spiritual powers in concentrate. We don't know, man. You know? But we do know that at GMS, we got a certain mindset. You know? Okay? Following under the doctrine, under the Apostle and Elders of the Great Millstone, there's a certain mindset that we have. Right? And it's almost... Parallel with the mindset that Eleazar had. So I'm going to get into this mindset that he had when pretty much, you know, the Jacob trouble in that time, you know, his, his what, what he had to go through and the mindset he had is kind of parallel to what we're about to go through and the mindset that we have. So I'm going to get into it and compare how. You know, it, it compares to us today. And Lord willing, we will remain faithful because of this mindset that we have. So this is just our mindset in action here. You know, through the Spirit. This is 2 Maccabees 6 and 18. And 18 it says, Eleazar, one of the principal scribes, an aged man. And first and foremost, he was a, a principal scribe. A scribe. A scribe. Yeah, it was, a, it was a man that dealt with the scriptures, all right, if I'm not mistaken, you know, and principal meaning chief, so he's a chief man that was dealing in the scriptures, and hey, that's us today, starting with the apostle and elders of Great Millstone on down in GMS, we are the chief men that deals within the scriptures with 100% truth, it says an aged man and of a well-favored countenance, and was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. Right? And he was also an aged man. Now, I like to compare that to uh, uh, us men. Some of us men is young. And then you got even real younger brothers, 18 and uh, 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 so forth, 17, 16. <clears throat> but, uh, the understanding that we have is that we we don't care about this place. You know, our, our heart, our mind, our body is, it, you know, is not into this place. So being that he was an aged man, right, and, and he was already at the end of his life pretty much, he's like, look, man, I do what y'all got to do. And the, it's, it's kind of the same mindset we have because while we're not particularly aged men, that's up there about to uh, uh, give up the ghost anyhow that's very elderly. None of us is like that, right? While none of us is like that, we still have the mindset of, you know, giving up the ghost because we have nothing left here anyway. You know? It says, and of a well-favored countenance and was constrained to open his mouth and to eat swine's flesh. Yeah, so he's like, hey, man. Tomorrow I'll be on my deathbed anyway through age. And we're like, hey, we're ready to give up this place as well. <laughs> because there's nothing here for us. So verse 19, except for debt and, and vexation of spirit. Verse 19, but he choosing rather to die gloriously than to live stained with such an abomination, spit it forth and came of his own accord to the torment. Damn. See? Whew. Wow. So he wanted to die. He rather died gloriously than to live with 
than to live stained with such an abomination. Yeah, man, because when it comes down to uh, 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 taking that chip, even taking the V-shot, that's living stained with an abomination, man. You know? Like, you know that you through. You know you done everything that you stood for. It's going to come crashing down. So, you know, we're going to really think about it and think about how we have nothing left here. We lived our lives. You know, we lived our lives in captivity. We saw what it was. We experienced it enough to know that there's nothing here for us but complete wickedness. And that's why it says and came of his own accord to the torment, you know. So that's why we're just going to walk right straight to the torment, man. If that, if this be of our lot. Verse 20 says, As it behoved them to come, that are resolute to stand out against us things, as are not lawful for the love of life to be tasted. But they that had the charge of that wicked feast for the old acquaintance they had with the man, taking him aside, besought him to bring flesh of his own provision, such as was lawful for him to use, and make it as if he did eat of the flesh taken from the sacrifice commanded by the king. See, so they wanted to give him, all right, here, this is lawful. Let's just act like, so this is a psyop. This goes to show you that he is of the same tricks from his youth. He does the same damn bullshit to get our people to go off. He's, he's still doing psyops to this day. All right, which is a psychological operations. And when you watch that movie, um, The General's Daughter, John Travolta, I forgot his name, but he was fixing his tire, and the General's Daughters came and helped him, and she, he pretty much said, like, where you stationed at, whatever, and she said she stationed in the PSYOP, in the PSYOP division, you know, upon the uh, military base, and he, I, I believe he said, what's that? The PSYOP division, what's that? And she said, uh... Fucking with people's minds. See? So E has a whole... Um... A division. A whole... Operation... Dedicated to fucking with people's minds. And that's all that this was right here. It was messing with people's minds. He wanted them to mess with people's minds. Oh man, yo, I can't believe LA's are just a pork. And really it was chicken. See, but uh, ver moving on, verse 22, that in so doing, he might be delivered from death and for the old friendship with them, find favor. But he began to consider this discreetly and as became his age and the excellency of his ancient years. See, so we're going to consider. All right. We should. We already considered. <laughs> really? We already, that's why the scriptures speak about, um, before you go to war, do you not do your research to see if you can win? Before you build something, you not sit down and see whether you have sufficient to finish it. So we already considered, man. All right, look, if we, if they grab us up, say, look, man, you're going to get beheaded if you don't take this chip. All right, well, hey, so be it, man. Because we don't want to miss out on the kingdom. We don't, first and foremost, like it. We don't want to disappoint Yahweh Shemashai. We don't want to miss out on the kingdom. And then we don't want to be punished by Yahweh Shemashai. You know? These are the things to consider. And then if we do take it, what do we, what do we... <laughs> Take it for what? To continue to pay bills? To continue to be in debt? To continue to live this bullshit fucking captive lifestyle? So these are the things we got to consider. And, this, and that's what he was considering. Like, look, he's at the end of his years. He could give up the ghost next week. All right. Just speculating. Why would he do that? He has nothing... To really look forward to. 
He's already lived his whole life. And that's the same thing with us. We already lived this, this lifestyle in Babylon. We know enough. Some, you know, of course you got the apostles and elders who got tons more of experience than us. And then you just got the men that just, just know that it's already nothing here. Right? So considering that, that's why he said, man, just bring me to the torments, man. But says, in the honor of his gray head whereon was come, in his most honest education from a child, or rather the holy law made and given by the Most High. Therefore he answered accordingly and willed them straight ways to send him to the grave. Whew! So this is our the same mindset we have. Now, these other camps, guess what? They don't have the mindset of, we lived here in Babylon, we experienced it, and, you know, if 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 if, if we put in a situation, hey, just take me to the grave. They don't have that mindset. They have the mindset of, they want to build here. They want to continue to live here. They want to set up new cities here, new hospitals, new schools, you know, new clothes, new uh, uh, music genre, Hebrew Israelite truth music, you know. They don't have the mindset of that we already lived here, we done it, we experienced it, and it is what it is. We ready to give it up. That's why they're not going to really be saying, take me to the grave. They're going to they're gonna take the chips out of it, continue on their citizenship, and continue on their plans. But when you got that mindset of, look, I already lived my life. I've experienced enough to know that there's nothing here for me, man. All right. I mean, what do you want? What, what, even even myself, I, you know, never had kids. And first off, you got women out here aborting, aborting kids, man. You know, <laughs> they be aborting it behind your back or whatever. So you got to get through that phase. And then if you get through that phase, you actually have uh, kids. Like, man, you, you you see enough to know that they're not even going to be yours. They're going to be sticking needles in them. They might turn out to be a mo. They might turn out to resent you and hate you. So there's nothing here to, nothing more here to experience, man. Verse 24, for it becoming not our age, said he, in any wise to dissemble, whereby many young persons might think that Eleazar, being four score years old and ten, a score is twenty, four times twenty uh, is eighty, plus another ten, ninety. He, damn, he was ninety years old. Come on. We're now gone to a strange religion. And so they, through mind hypocrisy and desire to live a little time in a moment longer, <laughs> should be deceived by me. So that's like, why? Why would we? See, we have the same mindset. Why would we take that just to live a little time longer? Because those missiles is going to come and bombard this place, man. 200 million missiles forming this place into the lake of fire. So why would we take that just to live a little bit longer? It don't make sense. And this is the mindset that we have, man. Now, we don't know what we're going to do when that time comes. But the fact that we got this mindset... And the fact that this is our mindset in action is a good look for us, man. So, and so they threw, uh, yeah, it says, should be deceived by me and I get a stain to my old age and make it abominable. Yeah, how you going to drop the ball at the goal line, man? Okay, so I don't want to let this lesson get too long. You know, the point was made. Lord willing, it was edifying, and I'm going to say shalom.